I'm pretty sure going into this without any type of camping supplies is probably a bad idea, but uh, ah, screw it. Got it. Let's head this way first. The shelves creak under the books. Many of the covers are mottled with mildew. Cobwebs bind the remains of a broken alembic, a cracked mortar, and various shattered bottles. And files on the table. Okay, it doesn't appear to be anything in here. Sour odors of rancid grain and spoiled fruit permeate the air. Dust and rusted utensils cover the countertop. Interesting. Rat skitter among the broken stairs. Oh, is there's nothing here? There's gotta be something here, right? I can't like, go up these stairs? No? I guess we'll go outside. Maybe it wasn't a terrible idea after all. Uh, let's head over this way then. Aha. Uh -huh. Little wisp pass, nothing. Oh, what the hell? Vagabond skulled. If thou feel on. Wow. Yes. Said I aggroed some other things. Leave our village! We've done nothing to you! Who the hell are you? You can't do this! Spectral smoke churns all around you. At first, you see nothing except a haze, but gradually you make out the wizened, hunched shape of an old elven man. His face and bone thin arms are smeared with paint. You can't do this, he shakes his head, spitting the words at you. Do what? This is our village! Our home! The Nine Claws have lived here almost 50 generations. We were here long before your kind brought war to our lands. You can't just burn it all. <coughs> have mercy, soldier. Our warriors have all gone. <coughs> you can't burn us all because of them. Interesting. He reaches out to you and opens his mouth to say something. But all that emerges is a series of violent coughs. He falls to his knees, choking on the thickening smoke. Flames overtake the vision as you back away. Oh, what is this? Small flame blight. Interesting. Brave thou feelest dearly. Ineffective, huh? So switch to that. <laughs> Explosive death. Alright, so they, they blow up when they die. I have no idea what this nonsense is. I don't know how you work at all, Chanter Boy. All right, some primal flame. Sure. Great. 
That's all that's this way. Anything over here? That's uh, another shadow. Great, I'll see Hashtag teamwork. Build this thing over here and examine. The trap door is embattered by the elements. Tugging is rusted handle and produces a heavy rattling. Alright. Is there an amphitheater of some kind over here? Yeah. For cereals. Your head is growing shaggy heaps shot through grass. Okay. So can I not I can't go through them? Interesting. Yeah, it's gotta be there. <laughs> okay, I think I have an idea. Maybe there's stuff back here. Check out this fountain. No? Can I go in like over here? Aha. The old watcher. Keep, the heap seems abandoned. There's beds here, guild of elders. Clearly, of it. Air, deer, and mink. They like their archways. Hi. Come on, boys. Near the Return to the priest. Following your That was all I'll say when I entered this, right? Yep. That didn't go well. 
No problem. Well, that's uh, un unusual. Really? Now you're gonna do that? How may I help? Eh? That's uh, some stuff here. Oh, it's not trapped. Unique sword one handed. It's not that great. What does slash pierce damage? But it is a slaying sphere of calm. Minus three will, plus two con. Steward, as you come to the end of the Great Hall, you perceive an inviting warmth radiating from the Grand Throne wrought out of marble. It's masterful artistry out of place amidst the castle's more practical stonework. And the veiled face of a woman is carved over the throne backing, watching over the throne with hollow eyes. As you approach, you feel the warmth fluctuate as though stirring. A voice rings out from the carving, permeating the fortress through the stone and air. Another watcher in Cadnua. Glowing very brightly indeed to these eyes. What strange happenstance. Who's that speaking? I'm sorry if I startled you. I'm afraid my manners have been slipping. I haven't had much opportunity for introductions lately. In any case, I assume you're here looking for Meerwald. Yes. Tell me more about Meerwald. He was a great man. He came here one day, young with long hair and polished armor, and he banished the dark things that had come to lurk in this place after centuries of neglect. He could see the beauty of this place, the way it had been, so he claimed it for his own when no one else would take it. We worked together to restore it. But he began to grow distant some time ago. He never told me why. He retreated deeper and deeper into the keep, never leaving, sending servants for food, hiding himself from my sight. The restoration stopped. Now, to look at the place, you'd never know the progress we'd made. In most places, it's worse than it ever was. And all I can do is watch it crumble around me. Any idea where I can find Merwald? I can feel his presence faintly somewhere deeper inside the keep. But he uses his gifts to confound me, and my senses are dulled while he does so. I only wish I could know his mind. Are you imprisoned in that throne? Imprisoned? At times it feels that way, I suppose. But it's more that I reside here. The throne was brought up from the ruins. One of the first things they found. As a last favor to a dying woman, the Earl arranged for me to be moved into it. 
Audra is an accommodating vessel for a soul. Oh, it's not as confining as it seems. I can feel the whole keep from here, and all things that are tied to it. There's something about this throne and its construction. Or maybe it's something about this place. Very well. Take care in your search. Many dangers lie in wait here. Uh, of course they do. Well, I guess we go that way. Been out playing soldier again, have we? Go wash up and come help me shuck these peas. She turns from you long enough to produce a basket that, like her, is shimmery and semi-transparent. And no complaints, you've got to eat your vegetables if you want to grow up strong and be a real soldier one day. Just like we agreed, right? She watches you out of the corner of her eye. Uh, say nothing. Soldiers are- Soldiers are important people. They defend the weak and punish the wicked. You're too young to understand now, but there are lots of wicked people. People like the man who murdered your father. Remind me, what happened to my father? Before you were born, the Glanfathans attacked settlers like us. They said we'd knocked over some of their special Adra rocks. That's why they call it the Broken Stone War. They got very angry, and so they came into our villages and killed many people. Your father was one of them. I see. That's why you'll be a soldier one day. To protect and to avenge. Why don't you go back out and play? I'll finish up here. Get wrecked, spiders. The silver trails of slugs gleam inside the barrels. Got it. Another spider, Lynn. Grave does he lodge up. spiders. So many yeah. spiders. I've been poisoned. New orders, Lieutenant. Ready your squad. Guy over there. Let's go talk to him. A spectral man arrayed in armor and an officer's cloak studies a single sheet of paper. You can see straight through it to a ducal of Adri insignias on his breastplate. 
He seems to read over the pages several times before looking up at you. When he does, his, his expression is unreadable. There's been a change of plans. Take your squad and march south all the way to the bow in the river. Bring a wagon team and a dozen barrels of pitch. His voice falters. He shakes his head. The hand holding the paper drops to his side. Tell me about the orders. The instructions come from Admet Hadred himself, which means they might as well have come from the Duke. We're to burn those hut dwellers out. Set fire to the Deerwood so they've nowhere to retreat. Cut them down when they come out. Or let them blaze if they won't. He doesn't sound like he's on board with this plan. It'll make this even shorter than the Broken Stone War, all right. And we can only hope it'll discourage future conflicts. I know this is personal for you. It is for many of us. But understand, we're doing this to end this war, not to continue the last one. Remember that we're flushing out the enemy, not burning villages for sport. Bareth will have his work cut out for him tonight. Will he though? Lock the door. Theoretically, I could pick it. We'll take those farmers by surprise. Almost time. Di and Heather scouted the village last night. They're rounding up the rest of the party now. What party? Don't worry. Everyone remembers the raid was your idea. The Rio had to go along with it after you'd gotten the rest of the clan riled up. No one wants it said that the Nine Claws were too cowardly to stand with the rest of the tribe when the foreigners desecrated our ruins. The Ryo? The ragged stripes of paint on his face twist as he laughs. You may not like them, but they still are elders. For now. A dead gray tooth peers from between his lips. That was clever, drawing the support of the community first. By the time you approached the Ryo, they had no choice but to support us. There's no doubt you'll join their ranks one day, so long as no farmer's pitchfork fells you tonight. The tribes need more leaders like you. Women who value deeds over words. He reaches toward your cheek, but stops midway. His splayed fingers quivering as a tremor of doubt runs through him. You were right. They were too soft when the foreigners first came, and now they humiliate us. We'll be soft no more, and the invaders will learn to leave us alone once and for all. Let's see if I can lock back this door. A simple test. Sure. That's settled. Uh-oh. No. Oh, Keep Marowals. away from us. Leave us! A large liver-spotted man, barrel-chested and paunchy, cowers in the far corner of the room. His white hair tangled, stringy mess. He covers his face and chest with trembling hands, unable to look in your direction. Are you Merwald? He looks up over his hand and muscles around his eyes, twitching, and begins whispering to himself in sharp hisses, as though having an argument. All at once, he stops shaking, a sudden calmness falling over him. His head tilts forward slightly, and he looks you dead in the eye, like a cornered animal about to pounce. His voice turns suddenly raspy. Mayor Wald isn't here, and he isn't fooled. He has sent for no callers. Be gone, deceiving spirit. Is he a split personality type thing going on here? Hmm. Please, there's something wrong with me. I need Mayor Wald's help. Mayor Wald will speak with you, but you will maintain your distance, or you'll have me to answer to. Who are you, then? Come to speak to Meowald. Meowald, whose touch is poison. Meowald, who knows not his effect. I was told I am a Watcher, and that you could tell me more about it. And about a, a tablet of some worth after that, once you two are finished, of course. A window. Window to the ether, where spirits dwell. Hear and reach into it. Speak and listen through it. A watcher sees souls, reads them, 
knows their pasts, souls of the living, souls of the dead, in impact, and the souls see them back. Used it to help beings in both realms, did I. What the gods wanted of me, thought I. The gods put me in the world for vengeance, and I obliged. Vengeance, huh? It was the gods' wishes that we protect those lands. My way was the only way to remove the foreigners. Why did the gods hate foreigners? Little I knew. You seem to have lost your mind. Lost? No. Found more of it. Too much. Too much to bear. An awakening. Ewoth eyes narrow as he looks at the old man. How could a simple awakening drive you to this? What's an awakening? Many lifetimes we have. Souls into womb and exit corpse. Carry with them all experiences, all knowledge, all identities. Yet, we do not remember. Hidden from us. What end? What end? Only the gods know. Certain things can stir memories from lives long buried. Awaken the old memories. The old personalities. I see. Memory, personality, identity, any might resurface. Or all. Yes, and I seem to be having a conversation with several of them right now. Ghosts of the mind. Meowald has lost control. Meowald's body no more. Spirits I passed, what are they? Spirits and not spirits. Always whispering to Meowald. Reminding him of his mistakes. No sleep. Watchers see memories before them. Form them from the essence of their own souls. Once Meowald awakened, he could not make them leave. Gave them more form, not less. Troubled memories. Angry memories, pulling Meowald back, reminding him his mistakes. Marauder and soldier, soldier and marauder, how could they know? Why do these past lives still trouble you? My fault. All my fault. Soldier and marauder, soldier and marauder and Meowald. No forgiveness for what's past. No undoing what's done. No sleep. No sleep for the Watcher. War there was all around. War of stone. War of tree. War of tree. Oh, of course. The Broken Stone War and the War of the Black Trees. This was the early period of Adrian colonization. Oh, somebody's online. Uh, fighting between the Direwood colonists and the Glanflathans, you see. But that was long ago. Death we brought to the settler men. We, the Nine Claws. Claws of Nine. Worse what we did to the women. For love of the gods. The gods' love. For their love. I met one of your memory spirits. There was a talk of raiding a village. Meyerwald's voice becomes raspy and he is somewhere else in place and time speaking to someone unseen. Hold her down. Head her. Give this Hattie a bitch an heir that belongs an heir Gladfath. <laughs> Meyerwald cringes and filth again. Watching something he can't bear to see shaking his head over and over. He wails. His soul is marked by flame, and those marks will never heal. His trial has broken him, but better than to live in weakness. Uh, 
Uh, take your time. It's over now. It was long ago. Continue when you're ready. Boy. The boy. The baby boy. The boy. Conceived in the raid. Conceived by force. Vessel for Marauder. Slain in the raid. Marauder and the boy. Marauder and soldier. A baby conceived by the raider? What do you mean it was a vessel for him? For the soul. A marauder's soul. Same soul. One soul. Boy's soul. Marauder's soul. Raised in lies and vengeance. Raised to soldier. Raised for the fire. Born for the fire. Then it was his mother I met in the keep. She told me his father was killed by the raiders. You'll get no pity from me. The crimes of the Nine Claws clan in the last war are still unavenged. But the gods are just. They have led me here. In my father's name, every one of you will burn. Light it. Okay. Adolf looks at the old man horror. Bay, the usher's crooked bun. I assume that's elvish or some sort. Marewell's shoulder slumps. He rocks back and forth, agitated. He mutters to himself, oblivious to your presence. Soldier and marauder. Lies and vengeance and dead villages. All dead. All dead. What for? What for? Your soul is given to wickedness. The only question is why the gods don't tear it apart. How little we know. How do you tell spirit from a memory? Fragmented our memories. Stuck in time. Mindless. Cruel. Never far. I've seen apparitions like those elsewhere since I became a watcher. Marewell tears while the Marewell dies. Oh no. No, no. You too? You too. All at once, in spite of his abject misery, his expression changed to one of utmost sympathy. Poor woman. Poor woman. They will take you too. Aloth eyes are between you and Meryl. What exactly does he mean? Surely something can be done. You're saying I'll end up like you. So fragile, the Watcher's mind. So real, his memories. Once awakened, how can he sleep? If I'm awakened to a past life, how would that have happened? You were reminded of it. Strong memories, lingering lives, they dwell near the surface, waiting to be remembered, waiting to take your mind for their own. Meowald sat at his hearth and watched his fire, watched the wood burn. Then came the memory of another fire and burning wood and screams. There must be some way to make these memories go away. No. Always there. Always remembered. Can't forget. Can't unsee. I didn't just remember. Someone caused this. They wore masks and spoke of books and keys and a queen. There was a man there. He seemed familiar to me. Keys of lead. Books of burden. Queens that were. Known to me are they. The leaden key. The leaden key? It seems we share an enemy of Arius. Assassins and watcher... And watcher wakers both. They certainly keep busy. What can you tell me about this leaden Secrets. key? Secrets. Secrets. And deceptions. And schemes. Who knows their answers? Not they. Not they. Crossed them before. Hatred of watchers. Hatred and fear. Much we see. Threat to secrets. Who is this queen they pray to? Woodica. Goddess. Crown shattered and body burned. Binder of oaths and grudge holder. Bearer of justice. But whose? If the leaden key caused my awakening, could they undo it? Many secrets do they keep. Un 
awaken? Mayhap. Who else if not they? Do you know where I might find the leaden key? City of Defiance. Never far from the Queen. I need to go so I can search for this man from the leaden key. Sleep well. Sleep well. Hold! I knew your will die. Your actions were seen. You would sooner betray us to the Adia land thieves than take orders from me. Take it easy. I'm not going to betray anyone. Your betrayal is for nothing. Your warnings are lost on these foreigners, and their blood will be Galloway's tribute this night. I have asked the elders for the honor of claiming your head as my first trophy, and they have granted it. Beg for the Seeker God to grant you a quick death. Lovely. Well, let's turn on my per rest abilities so we can go ham. You can't use that. Oh, that tax to my left. What's he doing? He's injured. Uh, Durant's kind of out of spells. that does. Fight is gonna be a pain. Oh my god, I have to go through all that dialogue again, don't I? Ugh. Well, for all of that, I'll see you next time. <laughs>